Alrighty, so we're going to do this homework here, and it's time to start looking at some of these uh, methods of multiplication, but we can even start combining some methods a little bit. So right here we have a door that's 49 millimeters by 24 millimeters, and what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to double and a half it first. So I'm going to double 49 uh, to 98, I'm going to half 24, <clears throat> and then I'm, from there, I'm going to do the over method. So I'm combining two methods. So I'm going to do 100 uh, times 12 minus, you can do the rest there, and that's how I would solve that one. For this next one, looking at two windows, one of those windows is 15 by 32, another window is 30 by 16. And Paloma says the windows have the same area. Do you agree or disagree? You could go ahead, multiply that out, and then multiply out 30 by 16 and see if it's the same area. But I'm going to give you a hint. Write 30 times 16 here and see what you notice when you compare those two window sizes. And then you don't even need to go further if you can realize what's happening there. And then uh, 12 by 19. There are so many ways you could do this problem. Uh, over method, you could draw an area model, you can make a ratio table. I'm going to let you just figure that one out on your own. And then here, what I'd like you to also do as you fill in these blanks or do the true or false is also identify the method that's happening here. So look here, you have 48 becoming 24. So what would 25 become? The method here is doubling and halving, right? that's going to figure out what they're doing here. What's happening in this next one? We have 48. They kept the 48 the same. 29, they moved it over to 30. And then you're going to need to subtract how much for 29. So what's that method they're doing? This next one, they had the same problem. This time they're splitting 29 into 20. And what else would that split into? That method of hint is something... They both start with a P. And then finally, uh, you can look here. And you're going to recognize the method as 5 is half of 10, but just be careful because it's actually not 5 is half of 10. It's 50 is half of 100. And then down here, same thing, you're doing true or false, but you can still figure out the method that they're trying to use here. You have 16 would double to 34 but they didn't do their doubling and halving correctly there. So that one would be false. And then just use the methods you've identified to see if those are true or false. And now we have the challenge. So let's look at this. So we've got a garden here and there are 12 rows of flowers. So I made one row, but there's actually 12 rows of flowers. Okay, so I'm trying to draw this. You've got uh, 12 rows of flowers and each row has 13 plants. So there are my 13 plants. Each plant has 15 flowers on it. So I can't draw 15 flowers, but just imagine each of those plants has 15 flowers. And I only have one row, there's actually 12 rows. So there are three, imagine that going out nine more to get 12 rows, but I'm not gonna draw all of that. Because really what we need to do here is just multiply. We need 12 times 13, and then whatever that is times 15 for each of the flowers. But the nice thing about this is we can uh, multiply in any order we want to. So I'm actually gonna do 12 times 15 first. And what I would do for 12 times 15 is I would have 12, I would double 15 to 30, and that's going to give me 180. Now I need to do 180 times 13 next. And I might use a ratio table for that. So I would probably go 2 times 180 is 360. I would try to figure out what is 3. Then 10 times 180 is pretty easy. And then I've got my 13 to finish it up. Again, that's one way to do it. There's many, many different ways you could solve that problem. But this was your homework, Paloma's Picture, uh, Bridges Math, 4th grade, and thank you.